everything you need to know in the Phantom Forces spring update. Before we get started, let's see if we can get 100 subscribers and 600 likes this video, so be sure to go down, drop a like, subscribe, and share this video around, and let's get on with it. By the way, the entire change log will be in the description below if you want to follow along with that. Hey, uh, Editor Fantix here. I forgot to mention that uh, I have this image here that's kind of like the tier list of every gun that's been changed in this update, um, going from best to worst, so you can use this as a little guide uh, for when you're checking stuff out. So, yeah. But starting off, the AN-94 got revamped recoil, which I kind of don't like, to be honest. Um, as you can see there, I mean, hold on, that's... Yeah, as you can see, it's a little less accurate, but eh, I don't know. Goodbye. G36 got decreased reload speeds. M16A3 actually got increased recoil as well, so it's uh, a little bit more mid now. It was already mid, in my opinion, but... Yeah, I don't know. K2 got its firing volume increased. And the Honey Badger actually got its uh, its sound reverted, which I like that a lot better, as you can see here. It, it just sounds so much better than what they had. With all that silly stuff out of the way, it's time to move to the biggest part of this update, which is actually the PDWs. Pretty much almost all of the PDWs got revamped or reworked in some way, so I'm going to cover all of those, so be sure to watch until the end. Starting off with the MP5K here, it got new recoil and uh, increased damage from 30 to 34 at close range, and also uh, the ranges actually got increased too, which actually I'm going to take off long barrel to show that a little better, but yeah, long range, it's now 100, and close range is now 40, which uh, actually increases with the long barrel pretty substantially. Here's what the new recoil looks like. So as you can see, it's actually a lot more accurate than it was before, but the MP5K, for being um the starter PDW, this thing's actually pretty OP now. Especially for being like, you know, rank zero. You can actually do some pretty, pretty good work with this now that it can uh, three shot close range. And I think, did it get a torso multiplier? No, it didn't. Okay, well. And one of my personal favorites, the UMP 45 got its damage increased to uh, 45, where before it was 38. With a 1.15 torso multiplier, which means, yes, this thing can two shot to the cor uh, corso. This thing can two shot to the torso. Oh my god at a uh, close range so it's actually really good now and the long range damage was it uh decreased to 19 but that doesn't really matter too much because if you hit the torso at long range it's still a five shot so i mean with the way torso multipliers work in this game um that's not going to re really be a problem at all you hit the torso like 99 percent of the time anyway so yeah, I don't think it's much of a problem. UMP also got decreased muzzle velocity, which isn't very good, but it's whatever. The G36C got its stats uh, reworked, so it's basically like the G36K now, but slightly different, so that's interesting. Another huge one we have is the MP7. It got its long range damage increased to 18, when before it was 17, which isn't really much of a change, but still a good change. Uh, the increased uh, damage ranges from previously 40 to 90 studs and now it's 50 to 140 studs. So this thing's a lot better at range now than it used to be. It also got its torso multiplier increased to 1.1 and uh, its velocity increased to 2400 when it was actually 2000 before. It also got its walk speed increased to 15 when before it was 14 and I think 14 is actually like the default so... 15 is actually really fast and uh, the aim speed was also increased to 21 so as you can see here it has a super fast aim and speed it's one of the fastest in the game now so this is actually a very speedy gun this is definitely good for um close range so this would be good on like metro or uh you know close range maps like that so i definitely recommend giving this thing a try it's pretty overpowered now really but the one downside to the new mp7 rework is that they changed the penetration depth to 1.2 studs instead of 1.5 so that's a little unfortunate but 1.2 is still pretty above average so it's not really that much of a downgrade but it's just a little annoying next up we have the mac 10 which actually got its close range damage increased to 42 when before it was 34 and its long range damage increased to 7 or, or 18 sorry not not 17 it it was 17 but it got increased to 18 you, you know what whatever you get it and it also got a torso multiplier of 1.1 so that's pretty cool and the p90 the p90 this is actually super crazy right now but it's been nerfed like four times since it was like at its peak in the test place so it's not as good as it was but it's actually still pretty decent so to start off this thing is a lot more accurate than it used to be i'm gonna put on delta sight just to show off this recoil a little bit so i'm just gonna show you guys the recoil here as you can see, it's, it's, hello, why is there an enemy on our, sp stop, you're, you're interrupting my video, oh my god, bruh, 
No, no, no. I gotta, I gotta get revenge on this guy. I got, I gotta go kill him. Never mind. My teammates got to him first. Like, what are all these guys doing over here? Leave, please. Just, just stop. Hello. Yes, go away. I'm trying to make a video. But as you can see, recoil a lot lower. Yes, the ranges was also increased from 110 to 150, so that's pretty good. It has a better long range now. The velocity was increased to 2,350 studs, but the penetration depth was decreased from 2 to 1.2. So that's probably um, the worst change to the PD, uh, or sorry, the P90, is that uh, its penetration depth has been nerfed so hard. But yeah, it's actually still pretty good. Oh, and I also forgot to mention the biggest thing that it got its fire rate changed to 1,100 when before it was 900. So this also shoots a lot faster while being so accurate as well. Next is the MP5. It got its uh, close range. It got its close range to uh, 50 studs when before it was 25. So you're going to be doing more damage at close range, which is nice. It also got decreased velocity. So now it's 1,430 studs or 1,300 without the long barrel or with the burst grouping it got its uh, fire rate changed to 850 which is pretty cool the cult smg 633 also what is this setup bro i i can't even but uh they got its initial kick changed so as you can see it has a lot less initial recoil so this thing actually might be super good now um hello yeah, without, uh, without having to worry about all that recoil. The L2A3 also got a torso multiplier of 1.05. So that, I think that means that this thing can actually four shot at all ranges now. So that's actually pretty good. Hello? Okay, I think I hit that guy three times. Yeah, okay, there we go. So the L2A3, it's a little better than before, so not bad. The MP5 SD got faster reload times, as you can see there, so that's pretty cool. It also has a new recoil system to where it's, hello, like a slow rising recoil system, which is kind of weird. Let me see if I can like show that off. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And it also got its velocity decreased to 1,300, which is kind of a... Eh. The M3A1 also got a uh, better recoil and new multi-point damage graph, which, uh, I don't know, that's kind of weird. <laughs> it also has a torso multiplier of 1.2 now, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this thing can two tap up to uh 86 studs roughly and it can uh two tap with 45 super up to like 83 studs so that's nice and it has a 136 stud three tap torso kill and a 150 stud three tap torso kill of 45 super so this thing is actually really good uh especially with like some of these crazy ranges and stuff you're three tapping and two tapping out to a pretty impressive range i mean the fact that it can two tap at all very nice i mean get that guy yep sure i'll take that the mp510 got its close range damage uh increased to 45 so let me hold on let me pick off some of these weird attachments yeah so uh with the default ammo it does 45 damage at close range now which is pretty cool and it has a torso multiplier of 1.1 which unfortunately does not make this thing a two shot at close range which kind of sucks it also rightfully got its penetration depth changed to 1.2 studs before it was like 0 0.8 so it was actually not very good <laughs> The Uzi only got uh, nerfs, which is kind of weird, uh, but it got new recoil, which uh, makes it less accurate. And it also got decreased velocity, so that's like 1,300 studs. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's a lot worse. Oh my god, I don't, I don't like that. Why does it look like that? That's weird. And my PPSH41 got nerfed. Like, look, look at this damage graph, bro. It's so sad. They ruined this thing. And it has a muzzle velocity of 1,600 studs, which isn't very good. The Falpar Shorty got increased damage ranges and got a torso multiplier of 1.1, or sorry, 1.15, so that's cool. The Chris Vector's pretty good. Uh, it got increased damages um, to 41 to 17, when before it was 35 to 16, so the Chris Vector has better damage now, so that's cool. Um, better uh, long range damage, or long range performance it goes out to 120 studs when before it was 100 studs now it has a torso multiplier of 1.5 as well which is pretty nice and also like pretty much all the conversions got reworked so i'm gonna have to go over that in another video because it's just a lot to cover the pp19 bison got a uh, decreased velocity the mp40 got its uh ranges increased to 60 to 120 when before it was 50 to 100 increased head multiplier of 1.8 
So that's actually pretty impressive. That's that's nice. Uh, it has a torso multiplier now of 1.05, which is cool. It also has increased reserve ammo and an increased aim speed, as you can see here. So it's a little bit faster. So yeah, the MP5, or sorry, what is this thing again? The MP40? Yeah, this thing isn't used very much, but I still think it's a pretty good gun. So definitely go and check this out if you haven't already. Yeah, this thing is a 70 stud one hit uh, or sorry, one head and one torso kill. Really? Really? No, I, that, okay, that's strange. Sure. Maybe I'm reading that wrong, but it has an 83.45 stud three tap torso kill and a 98.33 stud two tap headshot kill. So this thing's actually really OP right now. So definitely go ahead and try to use this. The X95 SMG also got a multi-point damage graph, which I don't know what to think about that. I, I, I really don't know. What these <laughs> what these new damage graphs are about uh but it also got increased fire rate to 800 studs which is nice and, and increased reserve ammo and they got rid of its torso multiplier which is kind of sad this thing can three tap to the limb up to 25 studs so not bad the tommy gun got its close range damage increased to 42 um its range is increased to 70 to 170 when before it was 60 to 120 uh, increased torso multiplier of 1.1, so that's nice. Uh, and also decreased reload speed, so I'll just go in here and show, hold on, yeah, show you guys there. Actually, this is the drum mag, but you get the point. The Rama 1130 got increased damages. Let me just take off some of this stuff here. Yep, there we go. Uh, so now it's 34 to 18, when before it was 25 to 15. It also got its reload speeds increased. And I also have a drum mag on here, but you get the point. And the BWC9A got new recoil with improved accuracy and an increased fire rate from 666. Ooh, spooky. To 725. And it also lost its torso multiplier, which is kind of sad. But yeah, as you can see there, it's a lot more accurate. Fires a lot faster. So this thing's pretty nice. Now the second biggest part of this video, yes, we're not even close to being done, uh, we have the M60, so yeah, this thing got a huge buff, got new recoil, so this thing's more accurate than it already was, yay, uh, increased damage, just now it's 42 to 32, so this thing is a 4 shot at all ranges. Maybe, yeah, no, wait, a three shot's at close range too. Jesus. Which I think this thing actually is a three shot to the torso at all ranges. Wow, this is, oh my god, this is going to be so bad. This range has got increased too, which, I mean, that doesn't matter if you're three shotting <laughs> at all ranges. Head multiplier increased to 1.5, so you could probably, I mean, you could definitely two shot at close range. I don't know what to think about that. Um, so torso multiplier, of course, that's 1.15. Uh, penetration depth was increased to 2.5 studs when before it was 2.1. I'm gonna have to use this thing more before it gets nerfed into the ground. <laughs> yeah, let me check out what this new recoil looks like. Actually, it's not that accurate. I thought it would be a little more accurate than that. I guess they just removed kind of like the shakiness of it, but like the actual pattern is still there. Yeah, I don't know. This would probably be a lot better on like a close range map like Metro. But yeah, I can definitely feel how this thing's a lot better now. And now one of my personal favorites, the RPK, it got uh, increased recoil. So this thing is uh, this thing's uh, three shot to four shot, I believe. So, I mean, yeah, it has better accuracy now. So you're going to be uh, taking advantage of that damage a lot more now. Let me put on a reasonable setup here so I can just show you guys what I'm talking about. That's the new RPK recoil. It's actually really accurate. So, yeah. Jesus. I'm telling you guys, you really have to take advantage of these things, especially these LMG changes while you can, because I wouldn't doubt it if they nerfed some of this stuff later, but yeah, the RPK, it's, it's actually crazy right now. HK21E got a uh, better recoil, which I actually used to run uh, AMT Terminator on this because the recoil was so bad, but I think I can actually run like Delta Sight on this. It's been changed so much. Let me put on a good setup here. So as you can see, that's what the recoil looks like. It is actually totally manageable now, whereas before, you know, the re this, this had some of the worst recoil in the game originally. Keep that in mind. Now I could probably spray that guy in the mountain over there if he peeked his head, but, you know, it's it's actually insane. I definitely recommend giving this thing a try. I can see you there, buddy. No, I actually just suck. Okay. The hammer also got its RPM heat up function changed, so it ramps up slower, but pres preserves the RPM for longer, which... I don't know what to think about that. I think I preferred it before. As damages got increased to 32 to 23, where it was 30 to 20, so that's pretty good. And um, yeah, let me just show you guys the ramp up feature here real quick. As you can see, yeah, I don't know. I don't like it. The RPK-74 also got its uh, 
recoil change just like the RPK. So as you can see here, it was even more accurate than it is before. So this, honestly, this is probably one of the most accurate guns in the game right now. I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. Like, this is actually insane. I didn't think it needed better recoil because it was already accurate enough, but here we are. Let me just proceed to laser beam that guy. Never mind, he's hiding. The Stoner 96 got increased walk speed, which is nice because it was super slow before. Uh, and it got its torso multi multiplier increased to 1.1, uh, which for some reason armor piercing is affecting torso multiplier now, which is cool. But uh, it got its damage 1 reduced to 24, so it's not a guaranteed 4 shot at long range. But I mean, if you hit one, like one torso shot, it's a 4 shot, so it's not really that big of a deal. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much all that was changed with the stoner. I mean, it's still super good. Muzzle velocity uh, decreased to 3,000 when it was 3,100. Still not a big deal. That's super high. Uh, penetration depth was changed to 1.2 when it was 1.8. Still not really a big deal. But this thing, still pretty good. Yep, take care of that guy. Goodbye. Nice double. Let's go. I literally just spawned in and there's two enemies on my spawn. What does this game come to? Yeah, next is the chainsaw, which is uh has tweaked recoil, so it's more accurate. I don't know, I don't use this thing. Yeah, next with the battle rifles, the Beowulf ECR has a new recoil, which increases vertical climb and decreases horizontal sway. So it's more like a re uh, rework than anything. So um, I'm going to put like, I don't know, uh, Delta side on here. And I'll put on default ammo just to show you guys what this looks like. So as you can see, it has a lot more vertical recoil than uh, horizontal like it did before, which I don't really think it's a big deal, but yeah. Next is the AK-12BR, which also got increased, or sorry, decreased recoil. Why do I have hell back in this thing? What? Oh no, I don't. It's just upside down. Okay. Wait, so if I put hell back on that, does that mean that like it goes upward? Hold on, let me try that out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so it's more accurate. Next is the G3A3. It's also more accurate, so as you can see there. I mean, still, the G3A3's always been a little inaccurate, but it's not bad. There we go. I don't know why it's shaking my screen like that. It looks like I'm getting shot at. I don't know. That's weird. The FAL50 also got a uh, decreased recoil, so here's what that looks like, which this thing's always been pretty accurate, but there you go. And there's actually zero sniper changes this update. Cool. The KS23M got increased kick, so I'll show you guys what that looks like. Let me just show it off again. There you go. I don't know. It's not that much of a change. All right, I'm only going to cover like the really notable pistol changes. So that's the G21, which actually got uh, increased damage to 42 to 25, and it was 38 to 24 before. And it got its headshot multiplier increased to uh, 2. So this thing actually has a 44.71 two-tap torso kill. So it's actually really good right now. In terms of machine pistols, the 93R got new recoil. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. As you can see, it's a lot more accurate. Pretty cool. I don't really use this thing. The Tech 9 got its close range damage increased to 25 uh, when before it was 24. It got an increased aim walk speed uh, to 11.2. So it's a little bit faster. Actually, that's a lot faster. So as you can see there. Still not super speedy, but it's a little better. However, the long range damage was decreased to 17, which, I mean, are you really using it at that range? Not really, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Now, my favorite machine pistol, the ass me. Haha, <laughs> funny. Uh, got new recoil, uh, increased damages, so now it's 32 to 19, when before it was 28 to 17. Uh, also, increased ranges to 50 to 110. So I'll show you guys what this looks like. Yeah, there you go. It's a little more accurate. I like this thing because it's basically like a tiny, uh, it's like a, it's like a mini primary. It, uh, you know, has 34 rounds. And it's, it's, it's really nice. Let me take care of that guy. As you can see, this thing, I would definitely recommend giving this a try if you haven't already. Because it's basically, it's got the primary power, you know? And the MP1911 got, uh, increased damage to 42 at close range, which, eh. It also has new recoil, so not as good but whatever now it's time for attachment changes yay let's go the angled grip uh increased its aim speed buff to 10 percent, which i don't really know what that does maybe it makes it slightly faster i don't know um decreased camera recoil reduction so uh yeah it's eh it's it, it's got it's been nerfed a lot okay and it also decreases aim walk speed so that's that's not very good either but yeah is this thing still meta i don't know you tell me next up retract stock it has a increased aim speed buff and it no longer increases walk speed so that's interesting and now a really big one uh the lasers so green blue yellow and tri-laser all got changed 
Um, the they all pretty much got the same changes. Um, they decrease aim walk speed um, to minus five percent and decrease aiming speed to negative five percent, which I don't really think that changes much to be honest. And then yellow laser, specifically yellow laser for some reason, got decreased dampening buff. So uh, now it's 15% when before it was 24%. And uh, yeah. And squad barrel. So squad barrel got a pretty big buff. Um, it got the range buff to um, range zero. I think that's, yeah, this is this one. Um, it increases it to 15% when before it was 5%. And the range one, which is the longer range one, I think. Don't take me on that. It also got increased to 5%. So, uh, sorry, 15%. So they both increase 15%. Let's go. And now long barrel on pistols and PDWs specifically um, got buffed pretty heavily. So let me just wear it. Okay, it's not on this. Okay, yeah, MP5 has a long barrel. But uh, it decreased the walk speed penalty from negative 10% to, uh, I can't speak, negative 5%. So that's cool. And it also now increases range zero. So it's like close range to 25% uh, when before it was negative 20%. So um, it actually increases your close range when before it would decrease it. So that's nice. And then range one, it uh, got buffed from 10% to 15%. So that's cool. And I'm finally answering my question about armor piercing. So uh, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, uh, Armor Piercing got brand new stats. It increases penetration by 30%, so it got a penetration increase buff, which is pretty nice. Uh, it also got an increase. It increases torso multiplier by 5%, which uh, was kind of the question that I was asking here. That's pretty awesome. So maybe for some guns, like if you're really close to that four shot potential, but can't quite reach it, then maybe you could throw this on there. I don't know. That's something I'll have to look into. But it decreases your close range damage by 5%, which that's actually pretty mid. I don't know what to think about that. And it decreases total range by 5%, so that's cool. There's some trade-offs and reworks there. That's maybe a good change. I don't know. And Hollow Point also got brand new stats and increases damage 0 by 15%, increases the total range by 5%, and increases the torso multiplier by, uh, or sorry, head multiplier by 2%. But it decreases the torso multiplier by 15%. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, that's not good at all. So now uh, you'll actually do less damage to the torso. I don't know what to think about that. That's weird. Okay, yeah, and it also de decreases penetration by uh, 30%. So eh, eh, I guess hollow point is not as good now, but whatever. And then finally, super armor piercing, which is not on the AKM. I could have swore it was 74. Yeah, super 74. There we go. Super armor piercing. It also got brand new stats and increases penetration by 40%. So yeah, that's that's actually really good. Uh, it increases the torso multiplier by 10%, which is also super, super well. Uh, it decreases damage zero, so close range damage by 10%, and it decreases damage one by 4%, and decreases the total range by 10%. So uh, it's not really that viable, but there you go. That's interesting and so that was the entire update in a nutshell there's a lot of things i still didn't cover like uh you know like some of the changes for the the uh chris vector you know there was a lot of attachments and things that i didn't cover like all of this got reworked and i didn't cover it i might cover it in another video so let me know if you want to see some of that yeah that about does it for today so please be sure to drop a like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one